So long-term disability buyouts involve negotiating with the insurance company to buy out the policy. Um, and that can occur uh, when the claim is ongoing uh, and there's a decision or a desire by both parties to find a way to buy out the policy on some basis or another. The reason that can occur is uh, if a professional you may want the freedom to uh, to get a, a, a chunk of cash that you can invest and manage on your own without having to be dealing with the insurance company on an ongoing basis. Uh, for the insurance company it's the same type of thing. They get the policy back usually, it's surrendered, uh, they have a closed file, they never have to deal with you again and they hopefully they, from their perspective feel like they maybe save some money potentially on paying out the claim throughout its uh, maximum, maximum life. The second uh, context in which it arises is in a litigated claim where there's a dispute about entitlement uh, and uh, sometimes referred to as a lump sum settlement uh, which is a, 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 is a buyout but it's uh, again it's a compromise claim to some extent in order to uh, entice the insurance company to uh, pay a lump sum settlement and obviously for the claimant to feel that they've received a sufficient amount of money to walk away from dealing with the insurance company.